One of the coaches that I'm coaching asked me a great question and I thought I should make a video about this because it really is an interesting topic. And the question was the following, Nick, what do you do with beginners? Do you teach them a forehand closed stance or open stance? And then how about a backhand? Is it closed stance or open stance? And I'm gonna tell you in this video how I do it. So if it's a stationary position, which should be the first thing that a beginner should do. You can't start rallying with a beginner. A beginner should start playing in a stationary position. A beginner shouldn't worry about a backswing. So the most biomechanically comfortable position for a beginner is gonna be an open position where the feet are parallel to each other. Now this might not take place later on as the player develops and starts moving around. Generally an open stance forward has the dominant leg slightly behind. But in an instance of a beginner, I don't mind them being completely open because now they will naturally make contact more in front. So I don't allow them to take a backswing. I have them start in front with the racket in an open position. And all I focus on is the feel of the ball, the contact, and then a proper finish. Good. On the backhand, on the other hand, whether it be a one-handed backhand or a two-handed backhand, I don't have them start in an open stance position because this is biomechanically the wrong position to be in. The vast majority of one-handed and two-handed backhands are struck close stance. If you want to know in great detail why this is the case, uh, check out my video on that subject. But in any case, what I have my beginners do is be completely sideways on their one-handed backhand or the two-handed backhand. The vast majority of beginners will start off with a two-handed backhand. And now from here, it's going to be easy because the beginner is not going to think about a backswing they're going to start right here and just going to focus on feeling the ball and then finishing with the racket all the way up good and go again so good the back now here's the interesting thing once the beginner starts to rally and that day will come pretty soon if the beginner has some natural abilities they're going to start to hit the ball back and forth and now what's going to happen of course the speed of the incoming ball will have to be super slow. Now, if you want to know what determines whether you hit a forehand in an open stance position or in a close stance position, it is the penetration of the incoming ball. So when we're talking about beginners, as the incoming ball is coming very slowly, what I like my beginners to do is to actually do a closed stance forehand because it doesn't make any sense to be open and then wait for the ball to come to you because it won't. I want that beginner to step up to the incoming ball because it's gonna be hit very softly to them. So on the forehand, from a stationary position, we're gonna do open stance. When the beginner starts to rally, we're gonna do closed stance. Now the great thing is that the beginner will develop muscle memory for both because here's the thing, you need both to have a good forehand. You need to be able to hit a closed stance and open stance. Excellent job. Good work. A beautiful job. And how about the backhand? Well, here it's gonna be the same as a forehand. The incoming ball space is gonna be slow, but it really doesn't matter because on the one-handed and the two-handed backhand, the vast majority of backhands will be struck in a closed stance position regardless of the speed of the ball because biomechanically it is the optimal way to position yourself on the back end. Now there is a time and a place for an open stance back end, whether it be a one-handed or a two-handed. But when we're talking about beginners, this will have to be learned way later in the development when they reach the advanced level.